I wanna walk you through some basic PowerPoint tips today to upgrade your slides and make your presentations a little more impressive. So let's dive in. First thing I want to show you is cropping and removing background. This is a feature not many people know. I dumped in a picture of me here. Um, the, ease, the more simple the background, the easier this is, but it does work on a surprising number of pictures. So you go to picture, you select the photo, you go to picture format and you click remove background. It'll apply uh, a guess at your picture right away. You're either gonna wanna mark areas to remove or mark them to keep. We'll pick to keep here. Uh, select these, um, usually pretty good. And then you can click out of it. Um, the picture will still be big though. You can crop it by going picture format and then crop. Uh, and then you can slide it in over here, slide it in over here. There's a bunch of different shapes on crop. If you really care about the shape, you can do weird stuff like this. Uh, you can throw um, things like that on it. Eh, not gonna go with hearts today. Um, but you can also go to picture format. You can change the color. Um, you can do all sorts of different things. You can do a lot of interesting graphic editing just in here. My first podcast cover uh, for my podcast about our relationship with work was done in here. I used some artistic effects. It wasn't the most impressive, but you can do a lot of stuff in here, right? Um, so that's something worth checking out. The next thing is text boxes and shadows. Uh, I think shadows is probably one of the simplest ways to make your presentation look nice, especially if you're presenting it uh, to a large audience. Uh, so you go to insert shapes. I usually start with the rectangle. I throw this on there. If you hold shift, you can get something that's square and it will stay in proportion. Um, we're just gonna play with it here. One of the things you wanna do with text boxes is right click before you start copying these and doing multiple is right click size and position. And then under here, under text box, make sure it's do not auto fit. That way you can control the size of the shape and you won't get messed up when you're trying to write in different text fonts and uh, different sizes. So we're good there. We can start writing. Um, let's see, text box one. And we can create that there. Maybe we want to change the shape, change the color a little, make it a gray, make this a black. Um, often with shapes, the outline comes with it. I like to get rid of that. I just think it doesn't look all that good. Get rid of the outline, no outline, and then go to shape effects up here, shadow. I just do this first one here. Um, and then hold control and shift while you're doing that. And you can select multiple drag and you can just basically copy the block, right? So you can call this text box two, text box three. And then the next thing you can do is just drop some text boxes underneath there, right? And you can start sharing your information. And that's a very easy way to create a structured slide. So the third thing is tables and tables is something that are just hideous in PowerPoint. Uh, so I want to help you upgrade these quickly. Uh, if we go up to table design, these are the default formats. Most of these formats are not very good. Um, the thing you want to do first is basically just go over here uh, to the upper left, turn off banded rows. Not a fan of that. Um, also just, Maybe pick a color that's not as loud as this blue. It's so maybe this dark blue here. Um, the next thing I do is I get rid of the borders. So I make it even and then clean this up, get rid of this column. Um, but I select all the cells and then I go up here to pen. I choose half point pen size. I then change the, the pen color to like a lighter gray and then I apply a border to all 
all of them, right? So now it's this lighter gray. It's not as dominant, not as strong in the outsides. Then what I typically do is just make these white. So I do something like that. Um, I might change a font to something like Open Sans. It's a little easier on the eyes. Um, I might center some of these. And then what you have is a pretty nice table. So you might have something like this. You drag it over here. You can also go to table design or layout over here and change the spacing. So I like to put it in the middle. Um, and then you can start bolding. Uh, so you can throw in some shading here, right? So if these are concerned, you might want to pull some things there. That's pretty easy. You can do a pretty basic table. You might want to bold these. Um, you can change the colors up here if you want. Um, you can have fun with it. But yeah, that's a pretty basic template I use uh, for tables. I keep it really simple. Don't go too colorful. Try to stay away from really strong borders. Um, so half point is really helpful and white space uh, for most of the table. That way you can call out uh, things that are important. And then another hack I like to show people is basically simple, fancy slides. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So we can throw, um, let's say we do dark green, we turn this white, and we can do this. We can drag this up there, drag this over there, and then this is an important point. And we can bold that a little, make it a little bigger. And then we can make this, it goes edge to edge. Um, and then we can put our uh, data. Maybe we drag our, uh, didn't, didn't copy right. Um, maybe we copy paste our table over here, right? So we'll turn this gray to balance it with the green and maybe the important point is here, right? So now it's very obvious. Another way to do this is put this on the left-hand side. This has become a lot more popular with uh, now that slides are widescreen. Um, some people, some companies still doing four by three slides, but hopefully you're beyond that now. Um, and then what you can do is basically change this shape. So go up to shape format, change shape, and then you can choose this one, uh, the BFA, as they call it in consulting, the big freaking arrow. Uh, not sure if I can swear on YouTube. Um, do this, and then drag this little yellow dot over here, and... You can basically do something like this. It's a very simple slide, looks nice. Uh, I don't love this green. Let's just make it like a, yeah, that's like a very distinguished blue. I like that. And then we'll, we'll call this out in like a green, right? So yeah, it's calling something out. It's a very simple slide, easy way to make something look pretty nice uh, and not have to buy template pack. I do sell a template pack. You can find that in the links, but uh, yeah, hopefully these are helpful. And the fifth thing I want to show you, we will go over to Google and we will search in Google images. How do you find transparent images? This is something you often need when you're building trans presentations, right? So you might have an image. Uh, let's pull a regular image. So you might have an image like this, and then you are, you are pulling it here, and you want to put it here, right? But then it's, it has this background. It's kind of annoying. You can try remove background, but that's often not uh, the best way to go about it. Um, often, what I do, Google Images, go to Tools, Color, Transparent. And this will return all the see-through um, images. And when you click one, it will load and you'll see this checkered background. Uh, sometimes you get some stock images you have to pay for that um, are a bit confusing, but more or less, most of these are gonna check out. You can right-click it. This usually works sometimes. 
we'll go back to our slide and then we paste it. There we go. And we have that uh, transparent image. Hopefully these tips were helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments what was useful, uh, what other questions you have about PowerPoint. I like making these videos. I like to make this super simple for people and help create presentations that don't bore people, hopefully inspire, hopefully influence, and hopefully make a difference in the work and projects you're trying to pursue in your companies and all whatever work you might be using PowerPoint for. Cool. Cheers. Thank you. Good luck with your presentations.